Uh, Padi untuk tengok apa-apa. Uh, Rogers Water One uh, abandoned vehicle park along Tepney Street sana itu. Vehicle number is Sarah Julia Delta 9003 Charlie. Uh, Roger will conduct a further check on the vehicle. A car was found along Tampany Street 72 by a traffic police officer. And in the car, a black bag containing controlled drugs were actually found. This car is registered to Zaid, who is currently serving prison sentence. And the car was only discovered yesterday, which means he couldn't have driven the car. Subsequent search was made on the car, and this was found in it. A piece of receipt dated 18 of September made for food and petrol at the petrol station next to Sembawang Shopping Centre. Hasron, Julian, contact the petrol station. Request for a CCTV footage recorded on the 18th of September. Yes, sir. Chengan, contact prison services. Request for us to conduct an urgent interview with Zayed. Yes, sir. Are you the owner of car registration number SJD9003? Yes. Why? Your car was found abandoned. Do you know who could have driven it? I don't know. Listen. Illegal drugs were found in your car. This is very serious. I hope you can cooperate. I don't know. Why don't you ask my guarantor? And who is your guarantor? Latifa. Sir, it's the same as the abandoned car. The date and the time of the CCTV matches those on the receipt. The woman in the car could be Latifa, but if you look closely, you can actually see there's someone at the driver's seat. But the face isn't clear, sir. It's obscured by the windscreen. Anything on the person in the driver's seat? Negative, sir. We interviewed the staff at the petrol station. All reported that the day was quite uneventful. Hmm. This person in the driver's seat presents us with a new challenge. How shall we go from here, sir? We shall visit the finance company that's handling the accounts of the abandoned car. Hi. Hello. I'm Senior Investigations Officer Nasir from CNB. Hi. Hello. I'm Mr. Hi. Sim. This is Officer Chengan. Yes. We'd like to ask you a few questions pertaining to a car that we're currently investigating. Sure. Please take a seat. Thank you. Yes. This car was bought on high purchase by Zayed. Does Zayed has a guarantor? Yes, Latifa was a guarantor. Can you describe Latifa? Hello. Hello. I'm coming here to make a payment. She is in her mid forties. All right. She's been coming in frequently to make payment because Zayed has been defaulting on his instalment. You see. Tell me, Mr. Sim. Whenever Latifa is here, does she come alone? No. Uh, a young man always follows her when she comes here to make payment. Can you describe this person? Uh, thank you. Thank you. I don't remember how he looks like, but he will follow her each time Latifa comes here. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Sim. Thank you. Sir. Sir. We confirm that Latifa lives in Block Street 31, Bedok Reservoir Road. Great. Let's pay her a visit. Yes, sir. Sir, that's the unit number. Okay, team, listen up. Chengan, I need you to guard the back. The rest of you, follow me. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes? Ma'am, I'm Senior Investigating Officer from CNB. Are you Latifa? Yes, I'm Latifa. Can we come in? Uh, uh, yes.
Latifa, are you the guarantor for owner of car registration number SJD9003? Yes. <coughs> Janice, stay here, Latifa. Yes, sir. Julian, follow me. Yes, sir. This is Senior Investigation Officer Nasir from CMB. Please come out. We need you to assist us with some investigation. Oh, uh, wait, wait. I put up my pants, ah. Uh. Sir? Say, don't come out. We have to force open the door. Hey, go away! I say go away. I've got nine off. Is yours? Yes. What's your name? Anwar. What? Anwar. Anwar? You are under arrest for suspicion of consuming controlled drugs. Take him away, guys. Ma'am, we found controlled drugs in your toilet. I don't know anything about your trunk. So why are they in your flat? Latifa, you are under arrest. Janice. Anwar was very aggressive. Test him for ice consumption. Yes, sir. Anwar, tell me. Where did you get the drugs? Two men. They gave it to me. Two men. What were their names? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know who sold you the drugs? They didn't sell to me. They paid me $500 just to try the drugs. So have you tried them? <laughs> no. Sir, the instant urine test results are out. Okay, what are the findings? Anwar has been tested positive for methamphetamine consumption. What about Latifa? Latifa has been tested negative, sir. Okay, I'll interview her now. Okay, sir. Latifa, on the 18th of September, where were you? I, I, I went for my massage appointment. Who drove you? Zukifli. Zukifli? Who is Zukifli? He's my nephew. Do you know where he lives? He stay at Pelut North. Come in. Sir, Zukifli doesn't have a drug record, but it's a police record for other offences. Okay. Do you have his residential address? Block 124, Buruk North Road. Get out of the team. We go there now. Let's go. You're under arrest. Zukifli, did you drive the car with registration number SJD9003? Yes. Where did you go? I drove my auntie to a massage appointment. There were drugs found in the vehicle. Are they yours? I don't know. After that, where did you go? I sent my auntie back to a place at Bedok Reservoir. I know nothing about the drug. 
So who else could have driven the car? Um, maybe my cousin Harun. Zulkifli did drive you in the afternoon, but he said he doesn't know anything about the drugs in the car. So who else could have driven the car? Your nephew said it could have been Harun. Who is Harun? He's my son. This is Harun, Latifah's 21-year-old son. Latifah is currently helping us with our investigation. On the 18th of September, an assortment of controlled drugs was actually found in a flat. And controlled drugs was also found in a car, which she was the guarantor. I believe there's more to the drugs and I believe Harun knows exactly where it's kept. We have information that Harun actually lives in a rented flat in Upper Bunking Road. We shall lay an ambush to catch him. Tango spotted. Let's move in. CMB. Let's touch the place. Yes, sir. Are these yours? Yes. Seize them. Yes, sir. Take him away. On the 18th of September, did you drive the car with registration number SJD9003? It was okay, Flea. Really? Listen. If you don't tell us the truth, we will find out eventually. So, would you rather tell us the truth now? Okay. It was me. Kau tak nampak besar-besar macam ni ke buta ke apa? Ya, benar apa-apa. Eh, buat apa lagi? Reverse cabut semua lah. Cabut, cabut. Jalan, jalan, jalan. Lama. Cabut, jangan. Hei, 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 jalan. So, Anwar was the last person with you inside the car. Yes. What about the drugs in the vehicle? They were mine. Anwar bin Abdul Razak was charged for repeat consumption of specified drugs and sentenced to five years' imprisonment and three strokes of a cane. He was also sentenced to another three months for voluntary causing hurt to a public servant and displaying threatening behaviour against a public servant. Haron was charged for drug possession and sentenced to 18 months' imprisonment. Sukifli so was admitted to a drug rehabilitation centre for treatment and rehabilitation. Latifah's urine was tested negative and follow-up investigation found that she was not involved in the drug activities. From the first arrest at Badok Reservoir Road, Senior Investigation Officer Nase and his team of officers from the Central Narcotics Bureau took less than 24 hours to find and apprehend those who were involved in the controlled drugs that were found in the abandoned car. 
This case is a testament of good cooperation between the Singapore Police Force and the Central Narcotics Bureau. It also highlights the courage and persistence of our home team officers who are dedicated and determined to keep Singapore clean of illegal use of controlled drugs. Once a person gets entangled in drug abuse, it will be a very difficult and long journey to be free of the drug trap. Drug abuse is something that will not only harm oneself, but also harm their loved ones. That is why it is important not to take the first misstep to even try out drugs. Preventive drug education is one of CNB's key strategies to keep the drug situation under control. There are many signs that parents and teachers can look out for to see if their charges may be under the influence of drugs. The Preventive Drug Education Resource Package, produced by CNB, was produced to assist teachers in equipping students with relevant knowledge and information on drugs and inhaler abuse. The resource package can also be assessed on CNB's website. Some mistakenly believe that abusing substances such as cannabis and ice is a cool thing to do, it's not dangerous, and they will not get addicted and can stop any time they want to. This is not true. Taking any illicit drugs is dangerous and may even have fatal consequences, as viewers will find out from a medical expert from the Institute of Mental Health, who will share with viewers the dangers of ice abuse. Ice is a chemical substance. Uh, its, its chemical name is methylated amphetamine or methamphetamine. It is a colourless substance. It has got no odour as well. It resembles glass fragments, which is why it is called ice in the streets in Singapore. People could be using drugs for fun and for socialising purposes. It could be also a sign that you know, they are using drugs for coping with their day-to-day -day stresses. And also it could be a sign of rebellion against parental figures and other authoritative figures in their lives. The dangers are that it can cause both uh, physical and mental health damage to uh, all of us if you take it regularly. The physical dangers are that it can cause stroke, it can cause heart attacks, can also cause various organ damage, such as kidney failure. When you talk about mental health, it can cause anxiety, depression, and also psychosis. It can also make people very violent and aggressive. Message I like to just share with uh, many people out there is that uh, if they are being a uh, chance upon this uh, chance to experiment uh, in any kinds of drugs, uh, my advice to them is to keep clear because uh, it's not worth trying it, uh, they may have uh, a lot of excuses, they may just experiment it or they may just take it out of curiosity or out of rebellion uh, but whatever reason it may be because ultimately uh, you are the one who is suffering at the end of it. Uh. CMB adopts a zero tolerance stand towards illicit drug activities and will continue our enforcement efforts to clamp down on drug activities in Singapore. Earlier this year, the Misuse of Drugs Act was amended to strengthen our capacity to tackle drug trafficking, one of which was enhancing the punishment of those who sell drugs to the young and vulnerable persons or make use of them to sell drugs. For more information, please visit LCNB's internet website. In the following segment, Crime Watch will bring you an exclusive glimpse of joint operations between the police and CMB officers.
We hope you have found this episode of Crime Watch insightful and informative. If you've always wanted to find out more about what the police and the rest of the home team agencies do, join us at our inaugural home team festival happening from 8 to 10 November at the Singapore Expo. There will be exciting activities and opportunities to interact with home team officers and a chance to experience the latest technologies used by the home team. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any query or feedback, do feel free to drop us an email. Until next month, I'm DSB Julius Lim, signing off.